just a city that defines knock antiquity, modern mining, and cosmopolitanism. In the depths of a giant nation that Nigeria is, among the rolling hills and large landscapes, lies the city of Jos, a place whose history is as rich as the deposits of cositerites, that is, the mineral from which tin, which at the dawn of the 1900s drew the exploitative attention of the British colonialists, who lured in laborers from all the major tribes of Nigeria is derived. As the sun rises over the picturesque plateau, it illuminates a land that has been shaped by the footprints of ancient civilizations and the imprint of colonial rule, fostering a unique natural tapestry that weaves together the stories of the North people and the legacy of British influence. Long before the arrival of the colonialists, the land that would come to be known as Nigeria was home to the enigmatic Nok people, skilled artisans whose exquisite terracotta sculptures still captivate the imagination of modern day archaeologists. The Nok people, thought to have thrived around 1000 before Christ, in the vicinity of today's city of Jaws and the sprawling Nok Valley, which reaches far out to parts of Kaduna, indeed Quara, left behind a trail of mastery and mystery. With their sudden disappearance in the late first millennium shrouded in the mist of time, the echoes of the Nok people lingered in the fertile soil of Jaws as indigenous ethnic groups, predominantly farmers, cultivated the land and forged their own traditions and ways of life. As the wheels of history turned, the British colonialists cast their gaze upon the beautiful land, enticed by the discovery of vast deposits of cositerite, the primary ore for the production of tin, the allure of mineral wealth led to the establishment of Jaws as an important center for tin mining forever altering the course of its history. The British, under the governance of direct rule, remember that the Fulani never conquered the aboriginals of the Benue Plateau territory, made their presence felt in Jaws Plateau, a marked divergence from the indirect rule they employed in the Fulani Emirates. As the colonialists set foot on the soil of Jaws, a coalition of cultures unfolded with the indigenous ethnic groups navigating the complexities of a changing world while preserving the essence of their heritage. The rhythms of everyday life intertwined with the cadence of colonial influence, shaping the trajectory of the metropolis which just became and its people. Amidst the backdrop of tin mines and trading ops, just emerged as a testament to resilience inclusivity and adaptation, a melting pot of tradition and transformation. The spirit of the Nok people found new expression in the midst of modernity, their legacy interwoven with the narrative of progress and perseverance. Against the enrapturing backdrop of rolling hills, the city stood as a testament to the enduring spirit of its inhabitants who wove the fabric of their lives with threads of history and hope. In the art of Jaws, the history of resistance of tribal domination and millennia of anthropological artisanal must reconverge, creating a tapestry that captures the essence of a city shaped by the forces of change and the echoes of the past. I am Bola Oba.